Oops, I did it again. Welcome back to the hair salon. Or Kama's hair salon or hair by Kama. Ta-da! I relaxed my hair. You won't really see it because I tried to maintain my natural coily, 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 coily pattern. I did it because... I'm tired. Like, I don't know how people carry their hair for their whole life, 100 years, and they don't get bored or tired of their hair. I was tired because I couldn't, like, like, where's the time to comb my hair? It's a whole job, like, combing, wash days, everything. So, yeah, I use it again, and I'm going to be sharing with you the process, the mistakes I made, the things I realized about relaxing of hair, and the things they were doing so wrong when I was growing up. Because, geez, as stylists, I don't know if they still do it now, they comb your hair with your legs, like, they comb hair on straight. Like, you shouldn't do that. That is not part of the process. You shouldn't comb your hair with your legs. I'll be sharing mistakes I made while I was text laxed for roughly four or five months and didn't realize that, oh, this is a new phase. This is what I should be doing to follow up and touch up and all that. So I'll be sharing that as well too. And my goals and aspirations for this new phase, the relaxed air phase. Yeah, I like I like the look. I like the fact that I can just wake up and just do and I'm doing not and I can still make use of all my natural hair products, my combs, like everything. So not in spoil. And I'll be voicing over the process and how to get or achieve this look where you still have like your natural curls and yeah, one week later. Thanks for watching. Alrighty, welcome. So this is me right here adjusting the camera because oh no, we have to see what we're doing. So I section my hair into three, and after sectioning it into three, I have to then go ahead to divide those three sections into minor minor sections so I can quickly get the relaxer in. This is because I am trying not to get relaxer on my roots before I am done applying it to the whole hair. And because I am doing this by myself, I don't have the time to section the hair while I'm already applying the relaxer. So I need to section the hair before I start applying the relaxer. So yeah, this is me just doing that, sectioning it. Man, I use literally all my <laughs> all my combs to get this hair ready so i used that part of the brush and i got the other one that what they call the, is it the magic brush or the wonder brush that has not really done any wonder of my head but yeah so i sectioned it and after doing that i i tried my possible best not to stress my roots and i think i did this after carrying my hair for like i think i loosened some braids i think and oh my gosh this is like months like months uh, months later that i'm creating this voiceover but yeah so yeah the first thing you want to do is to section it into minor minor sections or tiny sections so that you can easily apply the relaxer when it's time and when you are making your double twist which i advise to do instead of doing like normal braids while sectioning the air you don't want to mix up your air like you know there's this way you use another strands to make up so you can get to the end it's not necessary the most important thing is just to have that section parted so that's the most important thing so you can easily use your finger to separate the twists i don't know you should get what i'm trying to say right yeah so as usual i had a lot of shedding my hair is always falling off like sometimes i'm surprised i still have him on my head because this hair is, I don't know, it's a very special and unique hair.
So after sectioning the air, you know what's next. Applying Vaseline or there's something else you can add, apply to the roots so that the relaxer when it gets to the scalp because I'll still have to apply to the roots of my hair. It doesn't start working immediately. There's still like a barrier of oils, if I might call it that. There's a barrier that prevents the relaxer from acting faster or as fast as it should to and to also prevent um injuries and any issues with the scalp so yeah i'm just happy and excited this is the product i'll be making use of the olive oil ORS stuff i think i'm an olive oil girl ORS. yeah you can call me that so i'll be making just use i'll be making use a warm pack of this and my hair is pretty full so i actually made a mistake when i was doing the mixing <laughs> i think i added the exotic oil before adding the what's this other one i think the activator so normally you're supposed to apply the add the activator first before you add the oil and yeah this shit is actually a lot like how do they expect somebody to read all this but yeah i did that i read it so you don't have to and then they said you need to get like a brush i eventually ended up not using that and i set the timer to 16 minutes 30 seconds because i was trying to follow this lady's um way of doing this i'm going to if i can remember link a youtube page to this or the youtube video to this she used two timings for her hair because she she's really good at knowing her edges i don't even know my hair up to that level but yeah getting the gloves on and using the rubber band to make sure that they stay because those things are very loose and i know myself and I'm not like the clumsiest person, but that thing is just too wide. I think I made a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake and I used the um, gloves. I, I applied the gloves the wrong way or something like that. Oh, I forgot to use the rubber band for the second hand because I was scared that it was going to fall off. But I think with that, we're good to go. So I noticed it didn't really matter that I used the, exo the exotic oil first before the activator. So it didn't really matter. The most important thing is that when you're mixing this all three together, make sure you mix it and it is well mixed. Like the consistency is good and you leave it to sit for some minutes. Please read the instructions whenever you want to use these products because these things are very, I won't say they are dangerous. They are actually dangerous. They are dangerous. But yeah, you want to read the instructions before you start so you know what it is you are getting yourself into. And they give you like they give you the full rundown of what to expect, how you should use the product, how not to use the product, how you get like good results. The fact that they say you can use it for 20 minutes doesn't mean you should use it up until 20 minutes. Like they give you all that. So I mixed it, let it sit, and then I started applying. At first, I applied only to the length of my hair because I don't want my roots to burn. My scalp is very sensitive and tender. You need to see when that tiny stuff dropped on my chest, how I screamed for the dream to come and help me take it off. I was like, take it off, take it off. And immediately, the stuff was already reacting on that vest like the color if you see the color of that vest right now it is that spot is like gray or ash and my bad that i didn't wear like an apron or a cape over my shoulders because i'm sure some of them actually dropped on my shoulders god just help us with this whole hair wala because it is not for the week so after applying it to my hair i i mainly apply to the hair strands at first like all over then much later because the heat from the hair actually reacts with the relaxer so if you put it down to your roots immediately it starts working you don't want that your scalp is very sensitive your brain is housed 
underneath your scalp you don't want something like this to be penetrating your head while you are trying to get it in so it was after i had applied the relaxer all over my hair strand before i started massaging it into my scalp or my roots and if you notice i'm not making use of a comb because according to the instructions on that long list you saw earlier on they said not to use comb it's best to use your hands and your fingers to massage the hair until the time has lapsed so now i don't understand why nigerian hairdressers they would comb the life of your hair straighten the life of your hair until it is bone straight like they are literally ruining the coil pattern of your hair that should you tomorrow say you want to stop relaxing your hair you have to cut off those wounds or they'll start looking strange when your undergrowth is coming out but this way right now I'm, I'm sure my undergrowth is so much but you can't really see it you can't really tell my hair looks as natural as it can it's easier to manage like i'm not stressed out like you you get what we are going for so you don't have to i know it's it's actually a thing of choice if you want your hair to be bone straight well you don't have to do that i could also get bone straight with this if i had left it longer for say maybe 18 or 19 minutes but i was going for the 16 minute 30 seconds time so yeah this is me just massaging it into my hair because it said oh massage it pat it blah 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 but you don't have to make use of a comb to do this so please and please to protect your scalp and not get injuries like have you thought about how many times you've had injuries when you finish relaxing your hair this is the cause it's not because your scalp is so it doesn't take this relaxer or this relaxer burns your hair no the relaxer works very fast and yeah that's just me getting so scared and i had to run to wash my hair and after washing i started applying the conditioner no i applied the shampoo and then this is me just applying the conditioner and letting it sit and rubbing it into the life of my hair <laughs> rubbing it into the life of my hair as you can see my hair still has like the natural coil pattern it's not standing like it was before like i am a tank <laughs> and my hair is relaxed it is relaxed it's not look, look at the cold pattern like don't you like that hmm? doesn't it look like i've been carrying my hair without anything because it's so fine looking natural and especially when it has this wet wet kind of look it looks so natural it looks so coily sometimes it actually even looks like a wig because when the volume comes out it's like everywhere and i'm just like oh wow you see it's my hair i love it so after that i washed the conditioner off and then i'm just here trying to come here to understand okay where are we where are we going to and appreciating the thing i call my hair even though god have mercy ah <sighs> breakage is real not like my hair really broke like after i relaxed i'm just like i wish my hair never cuts like i try my best for it it should respect me enough not to cut look at the joy <laughs> look at <laughs> look at the joy can you see it even though she's not like acting up look at the joy on her face as she's combing the hair and it's just smooth going through it i think i already applied um leaving conditioner to the edges so like don't you look at this hair now is it not relaxed huh it's relaxed it's not standing up it's not flying flying and playing chanchi and it still has its natural coil and pattern and you see my hair you think is wow well, your hair is so nice you won't even know i relaxed my hair like so it's a choice if you want to do this if you don't you can stick to doing the bone straight type and wrecking the natural coil pattern of your hair and then having to cut the old thing if you decide that you want to go all natural because i know this way i can still keep my natural hair and yeah i said i was going to talk about the mistakes i made while being text last i think about three years ago and that was the fact that i wasn't thinking straight like what was i expecting i text last my hair and i got tired of it because it was so easy to manage that I was missing my natural hair. like oh i couldn't style my hair this way and that and that was when i decided to go oh my god this is so pretty that was when i decided to do what they call it um locks that's when i went into the locks 
journey and all that. So I think that was a mistake I made. I was expecting, oh, I'm sorry, my bad. I was still applying this stuff then. Welcome, Kama, to the Relax Air community. After how many years? Over 10 years. Glory. Nice. One week later, we're doing fine. We're doing great. I'm loving my hair. And my hair loves me. Yay! I'm deep conditioning my hair with ORS deep conditioner and the shampoo. And then I use this other product I got off Amazon, which I've actually been pretty good. But that's just the hood for the blow dryer. So I deep condition my hair with this on, I think, low heat or medium heat. And yeah, I used <laughs> I used a grocery nylon to at first cover my head and after washing it out I make use of the ORS leave-in conditioner and then ORS oil and this other good oil I got from a random beauty store and then I use the ORS cold cream just to have like my zip pattern or definition or whatever they call that stuff and this is just me applying it so to wrap this up um, my goal I think I mentioned earlier is just to maintain a happy hair I'm, I'm done stressing myself about my hair i just want to have a nice hair that looks nice and that makes me look nice so that's the goal that's the overall goal and i hope this video has also given you an idea of what the next step is for your hair if you want to try this journey i tell you i've been enjoying my hair for the past it's been over three months since i did this and Never for one day have I said, oh shit, why did I relax my hair? <laughs> this is not me preaching for you to go and relax your hair. I'm just saying like, it was a good decision I made because I'm not stressed about like, oh, how do I style my hair before I go out? Or, oh, I need to spray spray. I need to do this. I still do all that, but it's not as stressful or as scary as it used to be. So that, my dear, is my story. If you have any questions, I'll be in the comment section. Please drop, drop, drop it down. And yeah, I just did another wash today and it was a very seamless process. Less than how many minutes I was done. Like, life is good. Life is beautiful. I still care for my hair the same way I care for it. Like when I was natural. Uh, I just don't stress as much like when it comes to combing and all that. And now I do a lot of wash angles and my definition is more defined, if there's that word. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you hit the like button, you comment your thoughts. And if you're not subscribed, you subscribe. Let me know where you're watching from. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. This is me. This is the look. This is the new look, 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 look.